Oh, okay, we're having a dream again, is what we're doing. Trees inside the church. Okay. Am I unconscious? My objective is repent. Oh, goody. Yeah, that's easy to do. Agnes, my Agnes. I cannot protect our son. Just the metaphorical representation of him and his son both dying? I am sorry, my love. I am so sorry. All is well, my husband. Rest now. Rest. Don't kill Milius. That uh, no. He's like one of the only people left that are likable. Jesus. So much for protected by God. Leads towards the mill. Jonathan is out there. I have to find him. Jack's right to worry. Alien and the others are out there. Need to find a way out. Aliena! Milius locked it! Milius! I think I can hear him out there. Return our saint, or you will go to hell. No, you go. No! Give us this day our daily bread. William Hamley. I know it. Ah! Oh. is still hearts. out there. So is Jonathan. We will die. Come on. As we have forgiven our it's dangerous to be there. To be here, I have to find Jonathan. Is this game just gonna be 20 chapters of watching William kill every single character one by one? Because... That'll get old eventually. Oh no! Amen. The gate is locked as well! Our father... Aliena is this way! So are the attackers! If we go this way, they might not see us! Come here. You're right. It's locked. Done. Okay, now you're just gonna hurt yourself. Okay, never mind. He did it. Uh, good job. Jack. Jack. No. <gasps> I won't leave it. Oh, no. <laughs> Move, Mary, please. We must leave him here. <laughs> no! I have to help him! Peter! We cannot leave her here. Words from the scripture will calm her. Look at her husband. Look at her. <laughs> Your words won't do any good. I won't allow you to poison her, woman. It would seem they would have been better off leaving. Uh-oh. I will not let you use your devil's work on her. So the man in the dark robe was real. But whether he was accused or not, here goes here goes the, the husband either way. You have no idea what kind of man Prior James was. 
You are a fool. <laughs> I tried to move her, but she doesn't want to let go. We need to get her out of harm's way. I know that, Prior. We need to help her calm down somehow. What's going on here? Look at that poor woman. Her husband has died in her arms. Your sub-prior refuses to let me help her. Her herbage is the devil's work. We must get her away from here. William and his men will ride this way. I know it. You're right. We must make haste. <laughs> Philip, I told you this woman is a witch. You're a fool. This is Henbane. <laughs> Henbane? The devil's eye. So you admit that you are trying to poison this woman. Oh, does the evil eye of the flower intimidate you, you old goat? Calm down, all of you. Prior Philip, take this. It will calm her nerves if she chews on it. For once, do the right thing. <laughs> Ellen proposes that we use this herb to calm Mary. Well, her, her advice historically works. And Philip's not doing so well with the faith lately. Who do you trust more? Hmm? Oh, that's easy. Are you sure this won't harm her? Yes, I am. No, we grow herbs too, Remigius. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm holding her. you. Maybe I was wrong about you, Philip. How could you do that? Oh, piss on you. They're coming. We need to move now. It makes no sense. Why would the Earl of Shiring do this? Shut up, or they will kill us all. It's them. Shh. 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 Be quiet, please. Look at him. He did quite well. He got pretty far. There was someone here with him. Hugh is right. They might be close by. We should make haste. We got what we came for. Not yet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, God. There we go. Why do I get the feeling you're upset? We didn't have to do this. We came for the saint. They deserved it. Like this ugly bastard. Kingsbridge defied us for the last time. That monk, the bitch, and the bastard she's fucking. <sighs> Come on, move. After him. But William said... I said move! It's a hell of a shot from Jack. Did I just strangle that woman? She's fine, right? I didn't know how to react to very confined time quick to my vent. I was a little worried. Oh, she's fine. My well, cub. considering. Are you all right? Did you see Aliena? She was in the market. I heard William calling out her name. Jack, come. We must find her and Jonathan. This doesn't make any sense. Why would the Earl do this? Pretty much summarizes William as a character so far. Oh, this is way worse than the end of chapter one. Or book one. Dear God. Oh. oh. No. Aliena. Aliena! Jonathan! He took everything from me again. Aliena! No matter what you do, 
No matter where you go, I will find you. Every time you think you are safe, every time you play house, I will find you. And I will crush you. Now, kill them all and make her watch. Aliena, are you all right? I swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints that I will take care of my brother Richard until he has fulfilled his vow. Can't you hear me? Jack, it's all gone. I can't support Richard like this. What am I going to do now? Oh, Jesus, are they both... Could they both be dead? They're not moving, which is horrifying, but they're propped up, which is unknown. Man. Oh, did... Did Tom just die to shield Jonathan? I think that might be what happened. I'm thinking back to the gold choice I had before, and it's like, I had... I could have supported... Richard, and Richard could have just died in the war, making the entire thing a moot point. Or I could support the people here, and then they all just die. And <laughs> they both had such a high ch had such a chance of making the decision pointless. He's holding something. Oh no. Tom. Oh God. No. We must ask the bishop for help. The bishop? Are you mad? I heard he is behind this. Shh! How? How can we go on living in Kingsbridge now? Will the cathedral still be built? Not without the market. It, it, it must be, or there'll be no work for us. Please, our prior will answer all of your questions. Huh. Philip, they are waiting for you. <sighs> yes. Can we stay in Kingsbridge? Or must we move on? Too many people have died. Many were injured. Among the dead is Tom Builder. No! He died protecting our little Jonathan. For which I will be eternally grateful. Tom Builder is dead. What will happen to our cathedral now? Two of our brothers have perished. Brother Arnaldus. And brother Milius. He rests by Cuthbert's side now. And eight more lives were taken. Will the Earl of Shireen be judged for what he did? He must be! Yes, he must. What about the saint? Where is the saint? Adolphus will protect us. It would be better if you answer their questions. Please tell us 
what to do. <clears throat> the rumors you have heard are true. The remains of St. Adolphus were stolen from this crypt. Oh, we are doomed. The saints oh. come talking. Was it the Earl of Shiring? Why would he do that? Milius died to protect the saint. I saw it. Is he not well? He looks pale. This attack... Shall I continue for you, my prior? No. This attack was a great tragedy. I cannot think of why anyone would do that to us. It is impossible to grasp how these men could just... You went against the Earl of Shiring! He said you defied him! Philip was in the right. We had a market license. Our prior was in the right, but we all knew what kind of man William Hamley is. Defiance will only lead to more grief. I... I agree. You should be more careful. We must never again hold a market. No. No, we must not. The Earl stole the saint because of Philip. But it's not his fault, is it? They all had to die for the market. Please tell us. Tell us what will happen Brother with Andrew us. is overseeing with the King's repair. Bridge. And we will be able to continue the construction of our cathedral. Tom Builder's son, Alfred, will take over the position of Master Builder. Though it will take longer, for we will not hold a market again. And I am happy to welcome a new novice. Most of us are familiar with him, so I'm sure we all can share the sentiment that he will be very welcome in our priory. Jack. As was Tom's wish. <clears throat> Why is he not answering? Please answer! Why is he not saying anything? How will we go on? Why is God doing this to us? Answer them. No. I cannot give you confidence. The stories of how God tested the faith of his followers. I see now how true they are. I think you do as well. I am asking myself, where is God? Why did he not prevent all this I do not know. I have no answer. Ugh. One day, God said to Satan, Look at my man Job. There's a good man if ever I saw one. <laughs> so Satan said, You've given him everything. That's why he's a good man. But God said, even if he were to lose everything he has, his faith in me would not falter, and I will prove it to you. You will burn in hell for this. What? I defeated your greatest enemy. It was a holy mission. It's not up to you to decide that. Even your father would not have been that foolish. 
I am not my father. They saw you. They know that the Earl of Shiring is a murderer. What if my allies in Kingsbridge were hurt? What then? Absolve my sins. <laughs> Only if you announce your loyalty to King Stephen. No, Stephen lost. He is weak. Bishop Henry will not approve of me giving absolution to a supporter of Empress Maud. Are you a man of the church or not? I am. Then do as you are told, and never defy me again. Is that understood? Yes, my bishop. That's important information. So Bishop Whalerin was not supporting this. It was William Hamley going way out of bounds because he's a murderous lunatic man <laughs> and has some massive, massive problems to work out. Mostly, hopefully, by somebody driving a sword through them. Uh, through him. <sighs> Remedius defaulted to the story of Job, which I, like, I, 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 it's thematically resonant with what's happening, but it's like, such an unlikable story of like that's a story about how god was like <laughs> it's a story where god is so petty that he ruins a man's life and tortures him and does horrible things to him just so he can be like told you so to the devil and it's like really it's like it's up there with like the <laughs> all those oh god the story of Joe Boys reminds me of like a bunch of like Norse mythology where like Odin and Thor are just spiteful little bastards and just do shit just do shit because they feel like it and it doesn't really have a higher purpose to it. Like Odin encounters a bunch of farmers in the road and he shows them his nice scythe that he made and they all want it because it's a nice tool they could use to feed their families. How how awful of them! So he throws it up in the air. And they all clamor for it, and they, all of their throats are cut. And it's like, I'm sure that sev 17 translations ago, in an outdated, in an outdated perspective system, you probably were like, "See, they're so greedy." And it's like, but like, it's, it's, dude was like, "Here's a tool that would help your entire life," and I'm just gonna trick you into killing yourself on it. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, who are these, who are these deity entities, and why would anyone like them? And Job is such a story like that where I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm just gonna torture and ruin this guy because, you know, the devil said that I hated, that I wasn't cool enough. So, I gotta prove it to him, even though I'm supposed to be above him. Oh, great. Good job. You sure were a big man. <laughs> punishing somebody else for the devil's doubts when he's the devil. It suggests that he- the, that- in the story of Job, it suggests that God himself is not above doing shit and being tempted by the devil. And he's God, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Alright, well. Chapter 13, The Fleece Fair. You were undecided whether Jack should become a novice. William Hamley killed Tom because he knew Timothy had failed. You calmed Mary with Alan's herbs instead of prayers. Milius and many others died in the attack of Kingsbridge. I'm not sure what I had control of in this entire chapter besides Tom's decisiveness about Jack, which I don't know if that even could affect the story necessarily, because I don't know if anyone would have known necessarily besides maybe Philip. And then you have the choice of herb for or herbs or prayer for calming Mary, and that's about it. I think everything else just happened. Like, could I have made... Could I have done anything that could have stopped Waldron from knowing about Tom? I don't know if I could have done anything about that. All that happened is a character that we never... Oh. Uh, could I have identified the guy in the robe? By correctly saying, as Jack, what he had done in the intro cutscene? And then Alfred would have been like, oh yeah, I remember that. And then we would have caught him, and then maybe Tom would have lived? Could that have happened? Or is Tom's death, like, built into this? It's hard to tell. The question here is, of course, like, is the... Since Hamley switched sides with Empress, does that mean that, that uh, Empress Maud, that, that, that Hamley is, uh, gonna be, would be held responsible by her for what he's, he's done here, actively defying her law and her word? 
But does it matter if he switches sides back to King Stephen, who is very much not interested in helping us and is just an all-around problem for us? It's hard to say because we, we're playing as such small characters in one, in one little location that it's hard to get a full grasp of the political situation and who truly holds power at any given moment or what has happened in the weeks since we were last at other various characters that are because when when a character's off camera for a few weeks like who knows what's going on with them it could be anything but it seems this chapter is bookended by aliana losing everything twice to the same character and that might have been why they chose to save her for this book when the, technically the events at the beginning of this book were happening before the ending of this of the first one but we still have one final chapter I'm sure that only happy things will happen in it. She, it's fitting to her character that no matter what happens, no matter where she is, no matter how safe she seems or how much she falls into the groove of her five years later wool trade lifestyle and everything, she always has her dagger. Her father's dagger is always on her everywhere she goes, no matter what. No matter how much it seems like she wouldn't need it, she never stops, you, she never stops taking it with her because she knows what her life really is. Always flows, just goes on, as if nothing happened. Just keeps turning, just goes on, as if nothing is wrong. Jack's in there. I've not seen him in days. Need to tell him. <sighs> One day we'll tell everyone everything about us, Ali. All of them. We should have told everyone while we still could. Maybe there would have been ways to make it last. Well, that screams that we've given up on it. It's because she's planning on setting out, isn't she? She wants to support Richard and take back the old room at all costs, and she's setting aside everything else. Just cut it open, it's easy. Jack! I still have my hair. Where can we go from here? Anywhere we want. What is this? I told you I had a surprise for you. Remember? This is it. What is it? It's a... a first version of a fulling mill. It's fulling the cloth all by itself using the motion of the water wheel. Yes. What do you think? You will be able to sell even more cloth, not just wool, like you wanted to. It's... 
It's a brilliant invention. It's what I always wanted. Then why do you look so sad? William Hamley. We will go someplace else then, where he won't find us. He will find me, wherever I go. You can't just give up. I'm not giving up. And I'm not running away. And because I'm not running away, there is something I have to tell you. It's not what I want to do. It's what I have to do. I'm getting married to support Richard. To whom? It's not important. William will burn down anything that I build up. This is the only choice I have. My husband will pay for Richard's expenses. It's the only way my brother can protect our people. I will marry you. This is not about what I want. William Hamley did not kill all those people because the bishop told him to, or because of Philip. He did it because of me. I need money to support Richard, not just any husband. Any husband? Jack, this is not just about you and me anymore. It used to be. Because I was irresponsible. I am the daughter of the Earl of Shiring. No, you are not. You were once. What do you want me to do? Run away and live in a forest? Just you and me? Oh. Yes. What's wrong with that? Do you think I want this? Did you not see what happened here in Kingsbridge? You know I did. But you hid for days while we buried the dead. What for? To build a machine we can't use? Just doing what you feel like is not the most responsible choice. Who do I owe being responsible? We owe Kingsbridge, Jack. And I owe my family and my people. And what about me? You became a bloody monk. It's the only way they would let me stay. I know, I know. I am sorry, Jack. If you love me, let me fight the only way I can. Who is it? What? Who are you going to marry? Steady income from the houses he builds in Shiring and Winchester. And he is a master builder now. What? <laughs> 